Fam, what's up with the squad? It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tendencies, and I had to come tell y'all I was wrong. I was wrong. Sarah Strong didn't go to UNC. She didn't go to NC State. She didn't go to Duke. She chose UConn. And I ain't see that coming, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I knew it was on the list, but I said, uh, I don't know if she want to be there. Uh, I don't know. UConn might not be uh all the way healthy at the beginning of the season. So I don't know if Sarah want to be there. Um, but bravo to Sarah Strong for taking her time and making her decision. Um, for the three teams that she saw, that she had left on, on the top of her, uh, for the three teams she had left in consideration, Duke, UNC, UConn. She picked the best team, I think, that is in the best position to allow her to compete for a national championship within her four years. UNC, a good team, but we saw what happened to them. Uh, my lady for Wiley gave them that work. Um, turned, it made Deja Kelly look like a totally different player. Um, Duke, while Carol Lawson is building some good things there, they're still just really not there. But if you watch the game like I watched last night, you know that UConn should probably be playing for a national championship tomorrow. Uh, but it didn't go that way. It didn't go that way. And we could go back and forth about if it was a foul, if it wasn't a foul. That's not what this video is about. But when I think about the young lady that I saw play in the McDonald's All-American game, right? Sarah Strong. I'm talking about Sarah Strong. Uh, her skill set. And the things that she brings, that soft touch, the way she stretches the floor, uh, her touch around the basket, uh, the defending, the rebounding, like she's the whole package. When I'm thinking about her with Paige Beckers, a healthy Paige, a healthy AZ, um, I know Leah Edwards will be, will, you know, will, will, will be gone. She's, from what I understand, she's, she's declaring for the WNBA, so Leah Edwards won't be there. But Sarah Strong comes in with Ice Brady. Um... And with all of the with all of the players that they have coming back, from what I understand, uh, we have been back and forth about whether or not they would be ready to go at the beginning of the season. These players that are out hurt should be like like Paige said. There's seventy. There were seventy points uh, sitting on a, sitting on a, sitting on the uh, UConn bench in in warmups, right? When you add a Sarah Strong to that, wow! I'm excited about what, what UConn's gonna do. I'm excited about what Geno's gonna do. Like I said, I thought originally that Geno probably would retire uh, when Paige when Paige finished. Uh, but now, I think that maybe Gino retires when Sarah's done. And, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not rushing Gino out of the game. I just, he's a made man. Uh, he's been around a long time. Um, he probably has has some parts of it that he loves, and some parts of it that really gets on his nerves. Um, but he, he's done enough, and for him to be able to compete and maybe win a national title here in the next uh, four years with the combination of talent that he has up there. Um, I could see him attempting to do that and walking into the sunset. So let me say this. When I'm looking at what's coming up for next season and I'm looking at what we bringing in and I've told y'all already, I'm excited about uh, what, what we saw freshmen do this year. Juju, uh, Talia, Hannah, uh, uh, Audie. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not naming everybody. Michaela, uh, uh, Madison. So what we saw them. That, that, that was really good. Um, we saw some good games. But my, oh, my. Sarah Strong at UConn. Yo, I'm so excited for that for that uh, South Carolina UConn game next year. Fam, I'm telling y'all now, that's the one I want to go to, y'all. That's the one I, 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 that's the one I want to see, fam. I'm going to be honest. I really want to see them both. But now that Sarah Strong is there with, with, with the UConn team that I saw yesterday, because I was pulling for UConn la last night. I thought Paige Beckers... And, and 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 those ladies did a great job, and it shouldn't have come down to that one play, but it did, and it was unfortunate that it came down to the to to the to the whistles. Um, and like Paige said, it's not it's not one play or another that really made the difference, right? Um, there were a lot of plays that could have helped them not be in that position, but to be in that position and have the game taken from them, um, and I, I'm not you know the, the the game called on that on that type of play in that moment, absolutely heartbreaking. But I think it put a chip on UConn's shoulder. I think it put a chip on Gino's shoulder. I think it put a chip on Paige's shoulder. And I think they'll be back. But when they come back, 
they're coming back with a Sarah Strong. And I'm so excited to play against this team, y'all. Um, when I'm looking at the potential of the teams that we could play next year, right now it's UConn and NC State. Those are the two right now that I'm looking at. But, y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know that Sarah Strong had made her decision. She'll be a UConn with, with Gino. I want to know what y'all think about that decision. I want y'all to know how y'all feel about us matching up against them next year. Um, and also, you know what I'm saying, give me some feedback on what you thought about last night. Uh, with that, y'all, I'm not going to stay here long. It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tendencies. Until next time, stay tuned. Talk soon, y'all.